I can just picture his eyeballs getting big as I dump him on his head, and he doesn't know where the hell he's at. I want him to taste his own blood going down his throat. I want him to feel pain for stepping anywhere near me. It's interesting because there's a lot of pressure on him coming into this fight because he's so famous. He's taking on a very tough guy in Frank Mir, who is arguably one of the most talented submission fighters to ever fight in the heavyweight division. In Brock Lesnar, you have a freak of a man. You're talking about a guy who is not just an amateur wrestling champion, but a huge man. UFC interim welterweight champion. George Rush St. Pierre, the former UFC light heavyweight champion. Chuck the Iceman Liddell coming up that tremendous fight against Vanderlei Silva. A look inside the locker room of former UFC heavyweight champion Frank Mir, the four time All American wrestler at Minnesota, a two time Big Ten champion. He captured the 2000 heavyweight national championship. I don't care what people think. I'm coming to this fight to win. That's it. Being in the UFC for me is the only opportunity. The people are starving to see a true heavyweight. I'm gonna fight my way to the top and try to be that guy. Can he finish him to death? Oh my! Nice angle. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh. He's out and oh. it's all over. He's a is back. Mount him and pound his head in the mat. My ability to win this fight is to put him to sleep, either with a choke or with a punch. So makes it for a pretty exciting fight. This is what makes me. This is what I am, Bill. Well, as a heavyweight, he's still very young. He's still got a world of potential. He hasn't taken too many beatings. He was the 2000 national champion at heavyweight. And he enters the octagon. Brock Lesnar! Everyone wants to know if Brock Lesnar can truly be a world-class mixed martial artist, including Stone Cold Steve Austin. The former WWE superstar, Brock Lesnar. All right, this is it. Well, we will have a clean, fair fight. You need to obey my commands, protect yourself at all times, and let's hook them up. Good luck. How long will it take for Lesnar to go for a takedown? About five seconds. The big question is, He's taking will Lesnar here. just overpower Mir? One point. One point. Oh, my goodness. They take One a point, point away from Lesnar with a strike to the back of the head. Wow. Right over there, Brock. No warning. Good leg kick by Mir. Lesnar can't get too overconfident. Lesnar's got to be very careful. Mir has a very dangerous guard. He's going for a footlock. He's going to hold him a leg. Lesnar! He's going to get out of his He taps! Wow! Frank that's, that's a Mir. big, big victory for Frank Mir. Now, Frank, utilizing his very, very unusual guard, see, spins to that leg, grabs a hold of it, pins it, and puts a deep knee bar, and here he gets it, he flips him over, locks a hold of it, pulls it in deep, and Brock Lesnar forced to submit. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a knee bar, Frank Mir! Let's face it, I had Brock Lesnar, you see the beast over there, dropping elbows on my head. And I still pulled through and grabbed a submission. A beautiful technical display of jiu-jitsu. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you again. Isabella, I see you. Frank Mir, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, you know, you go back to the drawing board every day in the workout room. No excuses. He's a top-notch jiu-jitsu guy. He got me tonight. He's a better fighter. Well, that's a great attitude, and we are happy to have you here in the UFC and look forward to seeing you again. Brock Lesnar, ladies and gentlemen.